Sir, in this video, we will discuss uh, single end diagram, components and its introduction, continuation part, uh, second part I can say, uh, because uh, in this particular topic, we are having uh, like understanding concepts, not like directly go to the computer or something, not like that, uh, like a winding diagram or uh, DC machine or AC machines. This is uh, entirely different, being an electrical engineering student uh, must know. Uh, if suppose if you want to work in uh, BESCOM, MESCOM or any electrical uh, core sectors, you, we may expect one questions uh, like uh, write down the single end diagram of uh, power supply system. How will you write a uh, 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 single end diagram for power supply system? Already you studied in the transmission and distribution subject and also electrical power generation subject. And also this uh, particular uh, topic uh, entirely uh, like related to your previous concepts like um, electrical power generation, motor, generator and transmission and distribution. Right. How uh, it is related? I will tell you. Single line diagram. We are representing all the electrical components electrical power supply components or power system supply concept uh, components in a one line with the symbols for easy understanding right so generation is there transmission will be there distribution will be there and utilization will be there right so definitely all the concepts covered uh, if you read this subject i mean this concept because again i'll not explain everything uh, already you studied in the uh, previous semesters and all but those concepts are needed. See, if I go to uh, power generation and economic subject. So, what are the topics we studied? How exactly generates like thermal, hydel, wind, nuclear and uh, solar, bio uh, power supply. I mean, from the biodiesel or uh, diesel power plant. So, generation concepts we studied, right? Like a SAG and uh, that uh, uh, cables and all we studied right and also TD uh, we studied the transmission lines like a T model, Pi model, uh, insulators and how exactly pole located, how exactly uh, poles are uh, placed inside the earth, inside the like uh, earth uh, how much uh, uh, depth we have to place those things and all uh, we studied in the transmission and distribution. And that uh, uh, transformers and the AC generator, they we studied uh, uh, like a uh, synchronous generator, alternator, same thing only alternator, AC uh, generator. Similarly, uh, in the motor subject, we studied AC motors, right? Uh, here also we want uh, those concepts we want here. So, all the electrical appliances uh, are electrical symbol, right? And even now, uh, Sometimes the wiring diagrams. Because estimation and costing subject will be there for you guys in the I think already over fifth semester. Even though six semester six semester also we are having seventh semester also elective as we are having. So there uh, there is a layout of diagram, single line diagram or layout diagram, wiring diagram. There also we are rep representing all the electrical appliances with a uh, particular symbol. If suppose lamp is there, lamp for, for lamp one symbol. If uh, suppose uh, meter board is there, meter board is a particular symbol. MCB is there, MCB for a particular symbol. And electrical appliances, particular symbol. So we have everything we are representing with a symbols. Right. So let's move on to the topic. Okay. Design of a substation. So for the designing of substation, what are the uh, basic uh, like needs we want or basic uh, uh, things we need to remember while designing uh, based on the voltage level, based on the load requirement, based on the transmission and uh, distance like transmission distance and load availability, capital investment right. These are the main constraints uh, while designing. Uh, substations right so voltage levels so voltage level in the sense uh, 11 kilo volts 33 
Kilo and 230 volts, everything and load requirement. How much load is required before planning? If suppose I'll be giving one example. There is a Gudunalli uh, village or uh, Sai Nagar village. There the village uh, needs like more amount of power supply. Like if suppose somebody invented on in industry uh, there in the uh, Gudunalli. So if he needs more power, what he has to do? So he has to keep on transformer nearby. Even though our college uh, needs more power supply, right? That's why they kept on uh, transformer, particular transformer for uh, entirely one transformer is for our college, right? So likewise, we have to place transformer. We have to plan. If suppose load requirement uh, requirement is more, we have to plan. So uh, if if the load is more, so we are giving more or less supply. What happens? There is a single phasing or some damage also uh, we can expect, right? And based on the uh, transmission distance. So and also uh, for a dis uh, designing a substation, we need to uh, consider transmission distance. How long we need to transmit the power? How long it is required? And uh, uh, how long the transmission transmission lines are required? Everything we should keep. I uh, keep in mind and then we have to design and load availability. So available load also uh, we need to uh, uh, like consider and capital investment. What is the investment? What is the cost for the uh, designing of substations or uh, uh, this is a pre plan. Okay. Uh, how much required for uh, designing of uh, I mean like particular substation uh, construction and all construction and all right. Let's see uh, one by one. Uh, there is a uh, single line diagram uh, uh, of a 400 bar uh, 220 kilovolts model substation. I just uh, have given a uh, uh, diagram, right? Mm, like, uh, see, I'll, I'll just go to the uh, pen now for your understanding, pur understanding purpose. How many uh, incoming lines in this uh, uh, particular diagram? See, there is a four incoming lines, right? Is it correct? Is it correct? No, it's not correct actually. So which one is a uh, incoming line? Which one is a uh, outgoing line? Anybody is there to identify? Definitely. So this is not um, incoming lines. Okay. This one is outgoing lines. So outgoing lines are one, two, three, four, right? So one, two, three, four outgoing lines. These are the like uh, for example, this is your uh, uh, generating uh, station and this one is uh, generating a uh, bus bar. After that, uh, there is a another one bus bar from uh, some distance to uh, like, like some distance will be there. Keep it in your mind, some distance will be there. Uh, for example, uh, I can give as uh, Soman Hindley power station to Anakal substation. This one is uh, Soman Hindley. This one is Anakal or this one is Bandari, this one is Bangalore. So in between there is a uh, power system components we are representing like this. Transformer, lightning arrestor, circuit breaker and also uh, isolators, uh, wave trap, earthing switch, everything we are using for this uh, particular um, single line diagram. See this is a generating station, right? So. Next, we'll see a basic uh, diagram. What are the uh, I mean, symbols? Later, we'll solve some problems. Why I have given this diagram? Because you must understand how exactly uh, the single line diagram would be, right? So, these are the uh, electrical uh, power system components. Transformer symbol is like this. You can draw like this diagram. And uh, this one is the circuit breaker and current transformer and isolator switch, buses, bus bars, right? And uh, lightning arresters, isolator uh, switch and wave trap and capacitive voltage transformer and shunt reactor with a neutral grounded. Okay. And uh, next we are having uh, again the transformer and lightning arrestor, current transformer, isolator bus. A lightning arrestor, isolator, earth switch, wave trap, capacitor, voltage transformer, shunt reactor with a neutral grounded. Right. 
so uh, this is how we are representing the electrical appliance electrical power system components in one line these are the symbols uh, easy symbols to understand uh, uh, overall uh, single line diagram right so in the next classes definitely we are going to solve some problems uh, otherwise if you want i can give you the theory concepts also because theory uh, we should learn we should study right so that's what uh, uh, once again now uh, uh, i mean i'll be giving up uh, the introduction part uh, again single line diagram so what are the incoming lines how uh, we should uh, design by using computer and how we should do uh, drawing everything will uh, discuss uh, while drawing also and while solving the problems also like thank you thank you so much